Hey, yo, ladies and gentlemen, we finally finished the Diamond in Three Hours version of Teemo. I got my boy Manko to coach me, making sure that this is going to actually give you guys some really good advice. So really quick, I'm going to explain the runes and the build and kind of the overall play style that you need to play to actually be successful with Teemo. So all you filthy little Teemo mains out there can actually climb your asses out of bronze, silver, gold, or whatever you're in. So without further ado, let's just talk real fast about the overall play style. So the play style is very simple. It's a tanky Teemo that is no longer about one-shotting people. He is about scaling and being useful in team fights and using your blind correctly in team fights to peel your carries. That's pretty much how this champion is gonna be played. So when you're in lane phase, you are not expected to ever win your lane. I want you to understand that now. You are not expected to. If you get a solo kill or two, great job. But your mindset needs to be, I'm going to farm for the first 10 to 14 minutes of the game, and I'm going to take my lead, and I'm going to shove it down the enemy team's throat, as you're going to see me do in all of these games, okay? So let's get started with the runes. So the rune page is very simple. This is pretty much the only page that is 100% viable. There are other options that you see IPOV and Manko and other people do that still work into a lot of matchups. And if you are a Teemo one trick god, feel free to try those things out, but check this out. So you're gonna go grasp into demolish, and then you're gonna go bone plating into every single melee matchup where they wanna jump on you and slap you up, right? Like against the Camille's, against the Jacks, against the Wukong, right? Because they jump in and they wanna they wanna beat the hell out of you, right? But if you have bone plating up, you're literally gonna take zero damage from them, which is amazing, okay? But if let's say you're against like a Quinn or a, you know, a Lucian, a Vayne, or just anyone toppling that pokes you a ton, Vlad, Swain, whatever, second wind, combined with the items we're going to talk about is going to make it so that you're, you're basically just taking no damage ever. And then finally, we want to go overgrowth because obviously a tankier Teemo is just going to be such a, it's going to be so difficult to kill. And you're going to find that everyone in this game focuses you more than anyone in team fights. And it's, it's pretty funny actually. So obviously the more HP you have, the better, but there are those rare circumstances where their whole team has too much CC to the point where you're not going to be able to even move, uh, then take unflinching. But I take over overgrowth 90% of the time because I can always build Merc Treads or Zonias or whatever if I if I need to have some anti-crowd control, right? So do overgrowth. And then for the secondary page, really there is no other option that's better than this. Ravenous Hunter, Taste of Blood. This is going to combine with the build of the Riftmaker build that we're going to go and grasp. And you're, you're going to have so much sustain in lane and in team fights it's going to be really, really hard to kill you. That's that's the beauty of this build. And then obviously you're going to go attack speed, adaptive force, and then armor or magic resist, obviously based off of your, if you're against AP or AD. Now let's move on to the build. So let's talk about the starting items. 99% of the time you are going to take Doran's ring and two health potions. And the reason for this is, you know, I mean, nothing really even comes close to giving you the 70 HP plus you know, the mana restoration and just the, the the base AP that you get is just too good. Now, the only exception to this is going to be Doran's shield. Now, the only time this is going to make any sense is if you are going against that person that just is in your face every second and just will not stop hitting you. OK, you're against those range champions where you want to go second wind like Vladimir and all those people. This is going to be better for you because you, you, a lot of the times, like if, if I walk up and I try and like, like 1v1 like a Quinn or like Vayne or whatever I'm gonna get slapped around and it's gonna be obnoxious even against people like Jace if I walk up against Jace he's gonna jump on top of me and he's just gonna kill me and there's nothing I can do so that way if I do walk up at least I have all that extra sustain and health he's not gonna be able to just one shot me okay now let's move on to the core so the core is very simple it's rift maker and nasher's tooth those are the two items you build as quickly as you possibly can especially if you're super fed you want to just build these guys as quickly as you can and try and ignore tier two boots until later i mean unless you have weird gold values then feel free to get the the boots in between but i find that if i'm like three and oh or something randomly i don't know i'll get that rift maker i'll have the tier one boots and then once i get nasher's man oh man oh man oh man it's a different ball game okay now again there are there are other builds that are viable on this champion 
that you see ipov you see manko you see other people try different builds that are successful like immortal shield bow ad teemo but again they're teemo gods we are all average teemo players this is the most consistent most reliable most effective build across every elo that you will climb with and i prove it in this video obviously for you guys so that's what this is now the boots because you are tanky teemo most of the time you are going to go merc treads into you know heavy ap slash heavy cc comps or you're going to go plated steel caps into heavy ad comps okay um if you end up getting fed you end up popping off and going 2-0 and 3-0 get sork shoes okay i think this is so worth it because you getting that 18 magic penetration literally makes you actually good it makes you very 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 strong combine sork shoes with rift maker true damage and nasher's tooth you will be a 1v2 machine an absolute unit and then you can take that big ass snowball lead like you see me do um in, in all these different elos and man the sork shoes when you're fed is a must but remember you have to be fed okay if you're not if you're not fed and snowballing out of control do not build these builds okay i'm sorry do not build these boots and now let's move on to the situational items okay so the situational items are very simple you know there's lots of different things you can build but more often than not i find myself building either zonias or cosmic drive right as my third item so again you gotta you have to think logically about this okay are you going against the rivens the jaxes the zeds the the wukongs are you going against the heavy ad people that have high engage that can just one shot you right zonias obviously for the armor and that that um the, you know the zonias active itself are you doing really well and you're just needing a little bit more movement speed to help kite people out a little bit better a little bit more mobility cosmic drive is amazing because it gives you 200 hp 20 ability haste and 75 ap along with all that extra movement speed um if you're going against a team that has like sorakas and yumis and like a, just a ton of healing in their kit get morello as quickly as you can um remember though guys you need to be able to determine like okay remember you are a tank so a lot of these items i'm suggesting are tanky slash ap items that's the reason um th going things like rabadons and like lich bane and void staff those are all items you're going to want to build like fifth or even six down the line because i mean un unless you're like six seven and oh and you're you're just dominating then that's fine but more often than not you're gonna want to consider getting things that are gonna make you tanky to help make this build more op and then finally the the last couple items are gonna be things like void staff if they're stacking mr like crazy build void staff uh if they have things that are heavy ap that could that could catch you out really easy like elise evelyn uh, AP Shivana, things like that. Banshee's Veil is great for stopping Evelyn of being able to, you know, charm you, Ari to charm you, at least to cocoon you, and uh, it's gonna block the the giant fireball coming at you, the thousand AP fireball from uh, Shivana, or even if you're against a Vigar, right? Banshee's Veil completely shuts that down and makes you very difficult to kill. And then obviously the last two items, Lich Bane and Rabadon's Death Cap. And I only go these again as in like fifth, sixth item. Um, if I am just absolutely popping off and the enemy team is all a bunch of squishy McSquishertons, right? Like let's just say it's, you know, you got Zeds and Tristanas and and I don't even know, just just so squishy of people. Everyone's just like assassins and stuff, and like you're safe because you have Azonias and stuff. These, if you build these two items combined with like Azonias or whatever, oh my god, dude, you will delete everyone. But it has to be against the correct team, and you have to be fed to build those as well. And then finally, uh, I put this in the don't ever build this category because I actually didn't know this. I tried making a Teemo movie a month ago and I tried going Riftmaker Demonic and I didn't realize that Demonic is like the worst item in the game right now, according to Manko and everyone else, right? No one builds this item because it's so shit. It's so bad. You want it to be good, but after the nerf, it's just, it just sucks ass. You can still probably build this on like Mordekaiser and stuff, but... The item really just sucks so don't ever build this item ever 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 until it gets changed or buffed or whatever just don't do it okay i know it seems like it can be good but i promise you it's nothing compared to all these other items i listed all right fellas so uh, without further ado let's uh get into it and on this channel i will be making a lot more movies just like this guides champion or champion guides champion diamond to three hours whatever you guys want to see so comment it down below what champion you guys want to see next and we'll do it anyway watch the whole series 
silver all the way to diamond and if you do that i guarantee you you will get diamond okay so good luck but this man this is oh thank god i have bone plating jesus jesus that was pretty uh that seemed like much larger range than i'm used to but this is how you play teemo right here you beat that ass you beat that crack ass and try not to miss cs too look at that look at that damage oh we gotta run we gotta run oh my god i just love i just i'm in love with the sustain i love it so much okay let's try not to let's try not to miss any farm today if possible now if you guys don't understand how to play teemo i'm i'm not the expert on how to play this champion by any means right so what you're going to want to do oh i'm level one okay that's awkward what you're going to want to do is go watch my guy manko manko is the best teemo player in north america by far so he he does a great job he has lots of tutorials on mechanics and all that stuff tldr focus on spacing that's pretty much it you'll probably see me make a fool out of myself in against silver players gold players but it's just because I play I'm a, I'm a melee guy, you know Try not to miss I just suck Okay, this guy's just dead. Oh 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 Okay, he did not mean to do that. Oh my god. I almost actually died. Holy crap. I didn't respect his uh, his W there My bad yeah, that was my bad, mate. That was my bad. I cannot believe he flashed. That's, I have done that like a lot. Okay. We are in a horrible position here. Kind of have no choice but to go on and push this here. So just try and lock all this down. Uh, Set will not be able to chase me here. And if he does, he's just going to lose a million minions. So it is, it is what it is. I'm going to get out of here, try and recall in a safe spot. Again, he has such a big wave here that he has to stay for it, right? So we're getting a good recall off. I'm going to ping him off. Now, another thing too, I'm sure a lot of you guys are used to that, that Teemo play style of going Berserker Greaves, right? That's no longer a thing, man. Everyone in the game has a dash. So if you're not tanky, you're you're just gonna die. And you're gonna be sad. And we don't like to be sad. We like to be happy here, right guys? Hence, that's why I'm teaching you guys all this juicy information. Mundo, what's it like to have a tea? <laughs> all right, well, while we're sitting here farming, you know, what I'm doing here is obviously, if you guys don't know how to freeze lanes, like all these things, these like macro mechanics and stuff i have lots and lots and lots of videos both on this channel and glacier academy if you need to learn how to do all this stuff so please 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 use that use that use those resources to your advantage oh that was bad okay okay what like i said last inning is really hard for me on range champions i'm not used to it so he's got a lot of ad the secret here is just cue him when he gets too close that's it there we go yeah he's just dead now just chase him down now drop this here beautiful beautiful nice i mean hard shove i mean it's it's pretty simple oh god did i just oh my god <laughs> i'm sorry guys <laughs> you guys are like how the hell is this guy gonna teach me how to get diamond but i can assure you man and I got the juice. I got the juice on, maybe not on the champion mechanic side, but the game, I got you. Okay. Now, one thing you don't want to do with Teemo is I see a lot of you guys in silver specifically and in gold. You guys love, love just throwing shrooms out. And I got to tell you, that's not what they're for. They're for two things. They're for when you're fighting um, or trying to run away or clear waves. So that's actually three things that's the only thing they're actually good for it doesn't make sense to do anything else ow i'm gonna heal up here make sure i'm healthy got a little rotation okay they lane swapped wise choice so what we're gonna do here is gonna be a nice deep ward she has ignite so i need to be very 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 careful again don't worry about shroomies uh-oh zone my ass out i'm so scared okay we're good we're good we can chase her down probably 
Okay, she's just dead here. Well, she don't do that much damage. I actually don't really do that much damage. Wait, oh, I thought she was going to run into that. The, how funny would that have been? Okay, I could actually get her with Ignite. We're going to go for it. But we now remember one thing you need to understand about League. Is you need to respect jungle presence, okay? If you don't know where the jungler is, is he really about to run into it? Please run into it. Wait, didn't he just throw that through his Q? Mm, I could go for a dive here. A little sketchy. Okay, trying to bait the shroom. Uh, there it is. Couldn't get the ignite off. I'm kind of ashamed of myself. I'm kind of ashamed of myself, to be honest with you. I'm, I'm watching my, my map right now. Okay, nice. Cool. She just, you know... So in, in this elo, they're gonna they're gonna be kind of greedy like that from time to time, and it just is what it is. Now I'm, again, I'm staring at my mini map and I'm looking for that shock op. They have no teleport, so there's nothing they can do here. So I am gonna be really greedy and go for that that plate, and I'm immediately gonna drop a recall. I'm not gonna stay any longer. Even if I had mana, I would not because we're in a perfect spot to be able to bounce back and potentially freeze the wave. Now I'm not going to use my ult here. I'm just gonna do this. And I'm going to run into the brush and just chill. We're just going to chill. Now, we're, we're getting pretty lucky here. My my teammates are actually, like, amazing. But what you guys are going to realize is there's there's eight games total in all different ELOs, right? So we're going to be playing against... Ter we're going to have terrible teammates that we're going to have to carry. Um, there, there's going to be all kinds of games. So anyway, check this out. Paying attention to the map. I see him doing this. I see him doing this. It's fine. 67 to 49 farm. All I need to do is just chillax. There's no need for me to do anything else, right? You don't want to push. You silver players, man, I swear. Your biggest problem is that you guys do not understand wave control whatsoever. Okay. That was my mistake. Okay. Whenever um, Set decides to waste that, it is up to you. Oh, there it comes. Yep. And he has no W, so he messed up. Look, if Set ever wastes W, that's a free kill every time every time that is a free kill so you just have to chase him down and he, if he tries to fight you you just press q and he can't do anything this is a very hard lane for uh for that champion okay uh blasting plant was just right there i feel like i'd rather just recall here i don't have ignite i don't really have boots it's kind of an awkward recall yeah because she can actually push push pretty quickly so i think i'm just gonna chill here and just wait see if she presses q if she cues the the minion wave i will be an animal looks, looks like she's not so let's just hard shove here and i'm gonna recall because we don't know where oh actually wait 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 check this out so look this is why i did that this is something that that nobody does in silver what i just did and i'll i'll break it down for you right now so what i do is i like to use the you know fog of war making people think that i recalled and i use it to either cheese my opponent i use it to either cheese my opponent or do what i just did there which is get free turf plating damn i was hoping i could deny him that wave that's why i did that but this is fine. We can go for a recall. Quick recall. Um, I'm probably going to look to go Sork Shoes, to be honest with you. Maybe not. Maybe Zerkers. Check this out. So I got Sork Shoes, and here's the reason why. I am so fed. I know for a fact I'm going to do way, 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 way more damage with the Sork Shoes than I will the Zerker Greaves at the moment. And it's just because I'm so fed, I can actually burst people down. So we're going to use one Shroom. Just out of the back line. Those guys should all die, hopefully. Oh, my bad. Should have queued that. Okay. We're going to go for this uh, this first tower here. Now, if, if you're ever in a situation like this, what I want to do, or what I like to do, is try and end as fast as possible. Now, for my safety, I am going to put one shroom down there. I personally really love doing that. Okay. And we're just going to look to take this tower out. Okay. Start poking him out a little bit. 
Look at that. I mean, look at that damage, right? Look at that. Look at that damage. Isn't is that not disgusting? I actually could have just killed him right there. So if I was a little bit better at Teemo, I would have just killed him. But like I said, I don't really play Teemo all that much. So my confidence on him is not where it should be. But you guys will develop that the more you play this champ. Also, if you're going to play Teemo, you should probably one trick him or at least add uh, only play range champions because I noticed when I when I move to range champions, I have the biggest problem of spacing. That is my biggest downfall on this champion. So use this. Don't worry about those. They should die. Okay, and before we do golems, I like to... Oh, that's already warded. Okay, looking like this game is, is quite over. Yeah, it's over. Yeah, this shit's over, bro. <laughs> this shit is long gone. Okay, we'll just kill him. Try and dodge the W. Okay. Yeah, this 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 one's uh this one's a wrap. Alright. Beautiful. Drop that bad boy. Okay. Oop. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to uh, just slowly take this out. I mean, everyone's off the map right now, so there's no chance of me getting ganked. Plus, we do have that vision down right there as well. Um, uh, I guess I'll just recall. We, we do have a lot of gold. The worst thing you could ever do in League is stay overstay past like 2K gold. It's probably one of the, the worst things ever. Out. So, you know, you guys saw me split pushing up there and... I'm only doing that because my team's all doing their own thing. But really what I want is I want everyone to group. So I just typed in the chat, everyone group up. Like when it's this dude, when the game is like this, it's 17 to three, it's 15. Oh, okay. Never mind. All right, let's, uh, let's have a, let's see if we get a, a better, a better game. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got another game in silver. So this is a tricky one. And basically we have AP, 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 heavy, 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 heavy AP. I thought about taking Nullifying Orb, but then I realized Taste of Blood Wrath Hunter is just so damn broken with this champion. So here's the deal. Same exact rune page, but we have second win now. I'm liking Unflinching more than Overgrowth, personally. I think it like those times when you're trying to like get away from a gank up top lane 1v2 and you're super low HP, this is just too clutch. It's too clutch to not take. So, um, nothing really changes here other than the fact that we're going against Malphite with Arcane Comet. So the, the trick here is to fight, 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 fight like crazy before he hits level six. And we're going to do that with the help of Doran's shield. So I'm just going to auto spam the absolute bricks out of him. And then here's the next trick. Look at all that magic damage, right? We're going to get one shotted. So we need to get a Banshee's Veil as soon as we possibly can. But on top of that, we have to get Riftmaker first. Riftmaker, Merc Treads, and then I, pr I honestly am considering getting Banshee's Veil. So we'll see. I don't know what this guy, this guy, what? Was he starting? Oh, I was, that was so confusing. I was like, what's going on here? Okay. So remember, you got, we have to fight this kid every second. We're going to win every single trade. I promise you. Watch. Watch. Trust me. I won't even let him get XP. That's how ruthless I am. That's how ruthless we're going to be. No XP for you. Okay, you get a little XP. But you don't get a lot. Look at that. He's running out of mana, and I will never lose HP. Promise you guys. You guys got to believe in the heart of the cards. Okay. Okay. This is cool too because he can't he can't not he cannot farm if he wants to he can try but i'm gonna hit level two and pop off on them booty cheeks okay here we go okay no need to throw i don't need to throw a q remember to conserve your mana on teemo poking with q really isn't effective without press the attack so i prefer not to just randomly throw q's out unless i'm gonna do something where I'm negating his auto attacks or something, you know? Yeah, like you can keep attacking me. It's not gonna do anything. Oh, missing CS like it's my job. We're gonna get ganked pretty soon here. Just gotta really watch out for the jangles here. The bow jangles. All right, now we're gonna go crazy on this kid. All good, all good, all good. Keep using that brush to reset. Okay. Uh, this is why this is so powerful. He'll never be able to get me past 75% HP. 
I can just keep poking that ass too. Oh, I missed that. Okay, take a tower shot for that. Worth it. This is this is what you do on Teemo. Look how dang. Oh shit. Okay, I got a pop potion here. So you gotta be careful with that. I'm paying attention to where the jungler is. I don't see him anywhere. This is the only bad part about playing in this low elo is you don't have any jungle help whatsoever, which I freaking despise. I cannot stand it. I'll just keep healing. Mm, auto ignite. I don't think kills him there. I could try. Hopefully someone comes up here. Let's keep pushing. Go around. Go around dive. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I might die actually. Okay. Well, oh, I got executed. No way. Oh, wow. That's kind of lucky. Okay. I'll take that. Be cute a minion. Okay. We want this to push into me here. We want this to push into me, but I want to trim this. I'm going to take too much damage here. Actually, you know what? I might just do this. He's going to miss that. Okay. You could jump on me right now if you want. So let's, let's make sure we stay healthy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay healthy. We got, we have to keep poking him is the thing. We don't want him autoing minions like ever. It's the only bad thing we're doing here. Okay. I don't know why I queued there. So let's just keep trimming this up a little bit. Oh, it's gonna hit that. Okay. Starting to do damage now. Damn. Let's do this. Just pop it right in his face. There we go. Make him make him uh ult away here. He has to ult away here. Okay, nice. Beautiful. That's huge for us. So now we, we hard, 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 hard shove here. Oh my God, dude. I suck at last hitting. Oh, he's actually helped me push. Wow, look at that. Oh, he did that to just take my... Okay. Okay. That's not what you're supposed to do, junglers. That's not, that's not what you're supposed to do. <laughs> don't do that. You're supposed to help me push. You don't just steal crap and run, brother. But that's good. Look, so we're 49 to 18. And again, this is what you can do against a lot of people. Obviously, you're going to see me be able to do this against uh, higher level players too. But obviously, it's more exploitable in lower elo because they don't really know. They don't really know what's going on. So it's a lot easier, obviously. Hold on. My Mundo's an actual smurf. This man's smurfing. Oh my God. That was so easy for him. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? That's why I'm throwing the Q is so instinctual for some reason, but it's definitely not what you're supposed to do. Jesus. I'll take those. I know he has no R. Let's trim this. This is too much. Way too much. God damn, he hurts now. We got to get MR quick. Wait, what? Where do? How come my ignite didn't work? What? What's with that? How come my ignite didn't work? He should not be able to kill me here. Okay, he should die. Hopefully, nice. Okay, and again, right? Like, like he's not gonna kill me. That's why we keep going. I have way too much sustain for him to do anything to me here. Shivana's in the bottom side of the map. So now, my friends, we take two plates here. Could get roamed on by mid lane. We could. 
but this is what you have to risk i i hate seeing when you guys go back for no reason and there's no one on the map that can harm you you guys gotta get in the habit of not doing that also we're in a terrible spot here oh my god please get the plate thank you god i have to push this i fight probably will end up showing up here in a second so we're gonna have to like haul ass out of here we just need that honestly don't even worry about the, the cs Okay, now one thing you got to do silver players you got to time the flash so the second you pinged it It's usually about five seconds before so i'm gonna do Let me see Heart treads that's gonna nullify almost all of his damage, which is amazing So i'm just gonna keep it in the way this guy's doing a good job at like keeping me keeping the pressure on me here I'm not gonna let it phase me I'm gonna clear a ward here just in case Okay. Oh, I'm missing all the swarm. Uh, I might actually have to go over there, help him out. Oh, Jesus. This guy's getting a little wild. Okay. I figure. Okay. So, okay. Damn it. I knew it. I knew it in the back of my head. I was like, I got to follow this guy. Okay. So when you see that stuff in, in silver and gold ELO, which you're going to see in the next couple games, you have to follow up on that. You have to like you have to trust that well it has to make sense too. Like I know Mundo's strong enough to fight. Okay. I can't believe Shivana still had ult. I didn't think she would. I knew she was around, but I didn't think she still had R. So I had to flash out of that. It's okay. Oh my god, dude. Miss the caddy. Wow, what a little shit. What a little shit. Let's get this under tower. Let's get something clear here. I will not be shoved around. I will not be pushed around. I have way too much sustain for you guys. Even though I have no mana, I'm going to save my mana right now. This is good. So he decided to take a really terrible TP, so now I get to just take free plates. See, see how that works, guys? Greed does not pay off. That was a really, really bad move by then. He probably has R, so. Wait, what? What's going on? I don't know what's going on. That was weird. I'm, I'm paying attention. So if, if you're going to do what I'm doing right here, you got to pay attention to where people are on the map. This guy's going to ult me. That slow is really tripping me out here. There it is. Ah, thought I'd get him in shroomy range. That was my bad, miscalculated. Still doing good though. But do you see how freaking tanky I am though? I am so tanky. As long as I'm auto attacking, I'm healing. It's all that matters. Okay, he wasted TP. Shivana's on the bottom side of the map. We're gonna take this plate. And let's see, are any of our towers in danger of being taken? They are not. So I'm not gonna take this actually. And the reason is I want to continue to I want to continue to deny him like the enemy team is not popping off Like if they were all like 20 and 0 or something, right? If the enemy team was dominating then I would take it right because I have to advance the game somehow Like I need to stack it like it is my damn job to stack MR Rift maker Okay, I got good vision. Let's uh, let's force this tower down. They're starting to group up here Okay see nautilus i think they're gonna look to come up here for me let's back on out let's go investigate here we go okay he wasted whoa what a jinx rocket holy shit We are way too overextended with nothing right now, but we got them off the, the rift, with the, which I think is worth. Okay, I'm really going to have to make sure I'm carrying my teammates here. And really the way to do it is to just pay attention to the map. Do not get in your own your own head about like, I need to like do this. I need to do that. Whoa. Relax. 
probably gonna get Malphite ulted in a second, so we gotta start running probably. Kite this backwards. Okay, let's get out of here. To be careful here. I'm gonna go shove top. There's nothing on the map here. Just gotta watch out. Gotta watch out for that Shivaner. This might be actually free for me. Not a kill, but something. I'm not gonna be able to kill him. He's too fast. Okay, whatever. Oh, he's just running back into me. Okay. <laughs> Watch, he's gonna run into this room. <laughs> he's gonna run into this room. That's funny. Yeah, this is a good call. Rift is a great call here. So there's no top lane pressure now, which means I hard shove this. See what we can do here. Kill Vigar first if we can. Damn. Damn, really? He lived with like one HP. That sucks. All right. Fair enough. Mundo's got to stop fighting without me. Mundo, kite to me, please. You've got to kite to me, man. All right. Jungler doesn't seem to be uh, that half half bad, which is good. He's very aggressive, but he he's focuses too hard on the wrong thing. Um, I believe my team has that under control. I'd rather get a tower here. Yeah. Okay. So I the way I judge that is I should always respond to that. But I chose to to not simply because I can see my team has it under control. So there's no need for me to go help in something where we already win. You know, we have a winning situation already. Oh man. Okay, we're gonna force this Rift Herald now. This shroom placement is so bad, I swear. So we're gonna quickly, quickly, quickly nuke this bad boy. I'll put one shroom down there. I again, shroom objectives, but don't waste time trying to like shroom anything else, you know? Okay. We're gonna tap. We're gonna just give a little, little love tap up here. Wait, seriously? Okay, it, it'll, it'll slow push. We're good. We're good. We have to be there for that. Not bad. So they got that. We'll play to them. <laughs> no way okay so the lesson to be learned there is that was a mistake trying to go love tap that i should have been recalling like like i said your goal is to be at that objective about 20 seconds i, I like about 15 20 seconds before it actually spawns so you can prepare it with your team mushrooms always 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 try and prepare start getting some more now i like blue trinket a lot because of all this um if you're ever going against assassins or people that can pick you off really really easily blue trinket is better than yellow trinket every time other than that i would stick with yellow trinket just because um it's just better vision because they can't clear it without a red trinket okay whole team is bot side I'll place like i'll place like some safety shrooms just something so i have something to run to you know other than that, you want to use your shrooms to clear. Make sure you auto queue the um, cannon minion because the cannon minion obviously is the hardest to kill. Oh, if I missed that, I would I would have screamed. And look now, look now I have I'm beefed up, man. You're not killing me. You're not killing me ever. Let's get out of here. I don't have my team here, otherwise I'd be kind of down. Oh wait. I just realized I'm Teemo. We don't need to fight this, we don't need to fight this. Holy shit. I'm fucking so screwed. Well played, boys. All right, my bad. Oh my god, our set is so tanky. Oh, 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 oh. What's happening? What's happening? 
Daddy's getting in there. Oh, that was so greedy. Here, we're just going to clean everyone up here. It's looking like a Baron. It's looking like a Baron, potentially. Actually, we can't. Yeah, we can't. We can't. Take in hip here, though. Don't have the damage for it. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. That was my bad. Never used Demolish proc on a tower that's already dead. God, I wish I had Nashers. Here, we can take it. They have no Malphitar. Come on, bitch. Okay, their whole team's up. Holy crap. Dude, I always forget about the Jin R. That's what gets me into trouble. So always what gets me into trouble, bro. Whew. Okay, we're gonna start shrooming up this. I need some, uh, I need blue buff. And you know, if you're ever this fed, usually your team will give it to you. So please don't steal it from me. That would, that would just suck. We're gonna just get really good shrooms down here. I'm gonna take this. Get nice and stanky. Start shrooming up this objective. Just need to fight. Let's go. Let's go. I'm gonna go uh, find that Shivana. Okay, she went over the wall. Beautiful. Hopefully she dares come over here. Let's get her off. Okay. Dude, Banshee's Bell is just gonna keep me warm and cozy at night. A little shroomy there so i'm too far away to help with this so i'm gonna just distract them I'll, I'm, I'm willing to die for this right now so i'm gonna be really aggressive extremely aggressive oh shit oh shit uh oh this is bad okay i didn't realize shivana would be there in like half a second this is bad this is bad that's a baron for them oh god Oh shit. All right, please kill Shivana. Okay, it's worth it. Dr. Mundo OP, I guess. Okay. Okay, the good news is they can't take Baron. Even if they uh, kill Mundo, they should be fine. Oh, never mind. They're going to take Baron. Actually, they should not have the damage for that. Probably should have tried to kill him there, huh? Nah. could probably kill this guy I'm kind of down to go for a pick here oh dude this jinx is a smurf let's go and now I'm doing more damage too all right let's go back and get Nasher. remember my rule don't stay over 2k okay now we gotta think about what else we want here I forgot what I was saying about Rabinons but let's stick with our team here I know the right move is to go top lane but okay I'm gonna ping them going top there's no action right now we're gonna save that hopefully no fights break out i'm gonna ping them back try not to use any shrooms when, when you're really gonna need them like i'm gonna need them in any second now actually fuck it i need to push this quick let's get there let's get there let's get there it's kind of a bad call Okay. Should be fine. Oh my god. <gasps> oh. 
Oh fuck, I'm dead. Okay, the Jin ultimate is getting me. We're, we might actually even need a Zonius because here's the thing. All that CC is causing me so many freaking problems, dude. Okay. Uh, that's dead. That's a dead ass. It's gonna put shrooms in like really random spots. I don't have Q. Here we go. Dude, you're fucking with me. Okay. All right. I'll take that though. I'll take that. I forgot I was out of mana. Damn it. Okay. I'll take it. We're probably gonna need a Zonius. I'm gonna sell my Magias because we messed that up too hard. Here, I'm saving up for Rabadons. So here's what I have to do. I need I need Oracles because I need to figure out a way of getting behind this Jin without him seeing me. Dude, this champion is so fucked. Dude, this is crazy. I don't know what's going on right now, but I'm hoping my shroomies do something here. Beautiful. Dude, what in the fucking world is this game? Mm, what do we do here? Everyone's wanting Baron, but we just can't take it. Jin did die, which is awesome. I'm just going to keep farming. I have Rabadons now. We're going to go Zonia's. Clearly Zonia's is better into their team because of the Jin. This is the second game in a row. I, I last game or two games ago, I played on this account. I went against a 26 kill Jin and it was like impossible. Specifically as Teemo, it is like almost impossible. Oh wait, shit, 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 shit. I got to get this. Got to get this. Make sure that bad boy is mine. Okay, I got Rabadons. I got Rabs. I'm OP now. Okay. Save my shrooms here. It's about to pop off. No oh, shit. Okay, not good. Okay. That's not what we want. Big yikes. Big yikes. I'm gonna shroom literally the entire freaking map here. Hey, <laughs> yeah, walk into my shroom field, bitches. <laughs> so they can keep trying to jump on me if they want. Okay. Okay, this is good. We don't have we don't have a uh, jinx here, so I gotta be careful. Oh shit! I need to just shove this out. Now I have plenty of mana. This is great. Oh, dude, what the fuck? You idiot. That was so stupid. Okay. What can I do here? This dragon is huge for us. 
so sorry so sorry so sorry yeah he wasted everything on me he's dead okay we're not gonna flash for him there's the game right there baby oh he just ulted him to safety okay this is kind of ridiculous nice i don't know what that nautilus was thinking but he just lost him the team fight and the game Woo! just end we can just end it save your demolish procs gg is there there it is that's a clean 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 game i think we could have played a little, tiny bit better but as for like build i think we built i think we built like perfectly dude nice get the golden teemo nice all right cool let's move on to gold silver and gold is going to be basically identical but like a little bit better mechanics all right ladies and gents we're in gold elo i'm going to give you one tldr one giant tldr about this elo so here's what you got to realize this elo is the type where you will get five man ganked all throughout the game the enemy team loves sorry not enemy team gold elo players love to value that over literally everything else in the game and it's crazy that they do this but it can be really 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 punishing you could lose a lot even though they're playing incorrectly it's still very 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 um easy to get shafted essentially right all right this guy's playing kind of crazy okay so what I'm doing here is, you know, we're playing against Aatrox and Aatrox is a pretty simple lane. It's like just, you know, you're going to have to do lots of dodging. So we're going to want early boots to be able to avoid getting hit by those. Essentially, I don't mind getting hit by the first Q, but if he manages to hit more than that, it's a problem. Also, too, we got to watch out for Rumble Dumble, Rumble Door, as I call him. Okay. try and balance the last hitting with poking is so hard he can be more aggressive in this lane because there's not really that much he can do to us honestly besides that i mean like it again that's like doesn't you don't take any damage from that you know okay um not gonna have to use a health potion anytime soon either which is nice there we go lots of just skill shot dodging you know it's pretty simple, honestly. Just gotta really watch out for the enemy jungler. I'm gonna pop a potion because I'm gonna get ganked here in a second. I'm good. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'll take that. That's two flashes. Now, so the reason why I went for that. Let me explain something. The reason I went for that is because I wanted to deny as much farm as I possibly could. And as you can see, we we made him miss an entire wave there. So now I have 15 farm to his basically none. So I'm going to get boots and we're going to start to go the beginnings of leeching Lear here. Go control ward. Uh, I don't want to grab another potion because we don't need it. So I like to go for tower dives. If I'm ever in a situation like that, I'm going to go for a tower dive because even if I die, it does not matter as long as I take him down with me. And it's worth it 100%. I got two flashes, a teleport, and I denied him a whole wave. So if you're ever in a situation where you can go for a dive like that, do it. Do not be afraid to trade one for one. If you manage to get out, great. If not, it doesn't matter. Also, we knew we were going to get ganked there too. So it's kind of like you, you either go for it or you're just going to die and then you're screwed. Now. Okay. Let's start trying to clear some of this. Yeah, not much, not much else to do here. You can, as you can see, his boyfriend is here. Well played. And like I said, this is the shit you gotta watch out for, man. People are so greedy in this elo. It's cr it's remarkable how they play like this. I just don't get it, to be honest with you. I do not understand it. It's weird. a little bit too much farm i kind of have no choice at this point 
All right, no one died. No one died. Okay. Oh, I didn't proc grasp there. Damn it. There we go. Proc that grasp whenever you can, man. That's big boy damage. Oh, oh, oh he's not going to die. Damn it. All right, that's fine. Tried. I'm definitely dead here no matter what. I mean, it is what it is. I'm just going to push this out and die. I don't want, I want this to crash under tower, so I don't care about dying here. Dude, really? No fucking way. Did I really just do that? Oh my God. Wow. All right. That was really dumb of the Ace Rocks to come back in like that. So a couple things I just did there. I knew to, that I was dead no matter what. So like, what's the point of running? What's the point of not fighting? You'll find that oftentimes you'll be able to do a lot of crazy shit like that if you, if you just try. And I knew I was dead. So I'm like, I'm pushing this under tower. I don't care if you kill me because I care about the state of the wave way more than I care about my life. That's another thing. Everyone in this game values like kills and deaths more than anything. Guys, kills and deaths don't mean shit. I promise you, it doesn't mean anything. Oh, damn it. All right, now we're going to slow push this. Oh, man. My CS is not as good as it should be, sadly, but it is what it is. Got to watch out for a random ass rumble gank. There we go. Okay, good. So as much poke damage as possible. Now we don't know where rumble is, so let's be very cautious. Rumble, one rumble ult, I'm dead. Okay, rumble's there. We see where he is. Just keep poking. I'm healing to full and he, look, he has no sustain whatsoever. I'm getting CS. He's not. We're, we're doing a good job here. This is all you want to do. Now, obviously, right, if I was better at Teemo, if I was better at last setting with this champ, I could be at like 60 or 70 CS right now. I'll take that. Okay, beautiful, simple. We knew he's gonna fly. I mean, you know, Aatrox wants to land that, so just flash it, it's fine. Simple, right? Okay. I'm not gonna be too greedy here because I, I think Cassidy's probably coming. I do wanna go for two plates though. I don't think it's too greedy, honestly. I mean, I'm probably dead here, but this is what I'm talking about though. Like gold dealer players, man, they will do whatever it takes to kill you. And look, look, look who's coming up here. But check this out. I'm doing this because I want to snowball hard, man. Oh my God, I went freaking TP. No. All right, guys, don't go TP. I don't know why I went teleport. Damn. I did this last game too. What the hell? I didn't mean to do that. We're going to keep chilling. We're going to keep chilling. It's going to slow push into him. Make sure, make sure you spam ping whenever Aatrox is gone. Again, now I have to be cautious. I'm not really, I'm not scared of this guy, but I'm scared of Rumble. I'm also paying attention. The support is missing. And in gold elo, that actually means something. So what I'm going to do, actually, I don't recommend that you do this, but I'm going to use my, my uh, shrooms as a little bit of vision to make sure I don't get cheese ganked in lane. Nice. Denied him it. Hold on, let's see what's going on. I might be able to teleport in this situation. Nice. Okay. There's Aatrox. So we're not going to teleport. And let me explain why. I mean, that should be pretty... If you teleport on that, I think you're... You just don't... I, I guess you just don't get it. I don't know. But you should not TP like almost ever in the top lane because as I said, the first 14 minutes is about you farming, especially on Teemo. Oh my God, what's going on with my mouse? Because now watch this. Check this out. Look at this. Look at how much CS he's going to miss now. Look at that. Even if he got the double kill down there, it doesn't matter because I denied him way more than two kills. Infinitely more than two kills. And we're going to take this as quickly as we can, especially in the low elos. Later on, when you play in high elo, I think it's fine. I think it's a smart idea to deny as much farm and resources as possible. But in this elo, it's about getting with your team with your lead as fast as you can and not split pushing. 
that goes for anyone top lane any any top lane uh champion now what i'm gonna do because i see rumble on the bottom side of the map i'm not gonna recall this is what i'm gonna do dude i swear my clicks are so off I'm just gonna do this beautiful now what i'm doing is i'm dragging it away from the potential of aatrox coming so really if the mid laner was there or whatever i would drag it away from them so if i see the mid laner over here i'm dragging it all the way towards top lane without resetting it beautiful and now we recall okay and now what you want to do is you want to run down mid lane and send it now i am going to teleport here um oh, fuck i couldn't buy anything god damn it all right that was my bad <laughs> that was my bad all right now i am not going to use the rift herald here i'm going to explain why uh no one is here to defend this right and i have demolish so you you want to use this sparingly because if you use it correctly you actually can end up getting a lot a lot more for it i'm just gonna ignore i'm gonna ignore top lane uh you know the worst thing that can happen is we get rumble ulted on but i have uh i got my whole squad here I'm paying attention to top I'm paying attention to where everyone is I don't see anyone coming over here I'm very tanky so their bot lane is actually missing so it's not really a good idea for us to do this so what I'm gonna do actually is i'm going to run bot. it looks like he's slow pushing so i'm gonna run bot and attempt to do this actually got my whole team right here if i get in trouble my friends this is how you be effective in this elo now i'm gonna go back five man mid now please Okay. And again, I'm going to be very careful because look, we can take this naturally. We definitely can. Oh shit. A little crazy, a little crazy. We're going to wait for our teammates. Now I'm going to wait for a wave to come. Wait for this wave cannon wave i rift and i'm doing a good job at communicating with my team as to what the game plan is see how fed we are you guys see how fed we are like there's literally nothing that they can do and i am going to use this to brute force this there is literally nothing that they can do there is literally nothing that they can do now i have no man i gotta actually be careful here i got nothing try and get in here god damn all right all right back up back up back up all right i'm out of mana here all right that was still good we managed to break it break in as you can see because of my aggressive nature of playing this game look at look at how much we get done this is all because of me all because of me right so we're going to continue this you're going to hard shove and you're going to immediately go and group with your team. Now we're kind of in a weird spot. Actually, no, we're not. We're good. So check this out. 30 seconds left. We're going to get to this dragon. We're going to shroom it up. We're going to save our mana. I'm going to try not to shroom too much, man, because 75 mana per is a little ridiculous. So try and be very sparing with your mana. Okay. I don't know why the support's trying to farm. We're fine. I right, look, I already have no mana. I, I pressed the shroom three times in one Q. I'm out of mana. But it doesn't matter, look, because we get this for free and there's nothing that they can do. And now we're not going to fight this. There's no need. I'm going to go back to pushing top lane. I literally can't believe I'm out of mana already. This is crazy. 
So just be very, very, very mindful of the fact that you're just not going to have mana most of the game. But it doesn't matter. Look, three dragons. We're, we're taking our time, you know? We don't need to be greedy. We do not need to be greedy, fellas. I'll tell you one thing I will do, though, is I'll push the bricks out of this wave, though. You heard me? I think if there's one lesson to take away from here on mana is don't pre-shroom objectives because people can red trinket and just take it. Oh, shit. Oh, God. All right, relax. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't do any damage. Oh, God. <gasps> Whoa, what a turnaround. That is impeasable. All right, so now we're going to go take this. And we're going to do the same thing and we're going to run it down mid and we're going to grab the inhibitor now the only reason you grab the inhibitor the only reason is to set up for baron or for another objective if you don't do that you are going to basically just give them free farm so make sure when you take the inhibitor use that pressure that you put on them to do something good with it now i'm going to try and take this yeah sorry my team trusts me good uh, we have Nasher's Tooth. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to shove this real quick. Just try and get this under the tower. Five man mid. So one thing to learn as well is notice how I'm communicating with my team. I'm not spamming them. I'm not trying to argue with them. Like, like most of the time you're going to have people that are going to sit there and try and argue with you, right? So as long as you don't sit there and play those weird games, you just stick to the plan. I don't know why this Senna is doing this. Hmm. Got my whole team behind me, so we're fine. We're chilling. I know where everyone is, right? So I can make that play. Oh, this is kind of sketchy and him so you see how my whole team is chasing after that kill when in a challenger game we we take this and then we immediately run to baron that's how this would be played in high elo like all this fighting is so unnecessary right look at this so unnecessary luckily it's working out for us all right now we just go straight to baron come now Okay, while they take their time, I'll tell I'll clear this. Oh, that's cringe. Okay, nice. And we just quickly nuke this. Now Rumble, they, their whole team has no ultimate, right? So this is completely safe. And we also, I mean, it's new new to Rumble. So like there's 0% chance it gets stolen. Even though they have a level difference, it doesn't matter. Obviously what I can do is start doing this if I need to. We're good. Now we reset. All bot. Okay. Now I just hard shove and I just ignore what's going on there. I could TP to that. Um, but they are probably just going to run and go get it. I can't tell. Yeah, they're too close to be able to just stop me. So I'm not going to. If I was on, if I was like Garen or something, I would. But I'm Teemo, so I don't really have the greatest tower taking potential. Now, obviously, the best thing to do here is to completely ignore that Dragon Soul because it really, that's not what we need right now. What we need is to just take Baron and shove it down their throats, you know? I'm just chilling. Look at it. What are they going to do? What the hell are they going to do? You know? You know what's funny, too? I played on this account last game and I had an AFK and my mid laner trolled against this Cassidan. And the cast of this cast and it was talking shit all game and dropped like freaking uh almost 20 kills last game right, i'm gonna baron buff everything baron buff everything get a bunch of shroomies down if they're attacking the shrooms they're not attacking me right look at that look at look how much i'm doing just by myself look at i mean look at how easy this is by myself don't even need my team because i know what i'm doing Put a shroom down. And there's the end of the game. Now, my friends, that is how you quickly end a game. 
that's how you do it without any greed or anything i i called all the shots and they all listened now sometimes they're not going to listen and we're going to figure that out all right another gold elo game um i took ignite this time thank god uh i mean you again you can you can run teleport into really bad matchups if you if you have like a really terrible one that you just know you're just going to get dumped on i don't know if you go against like wukong or like something like that maybe but um I, generally running ignite is going to be very good especially in the lower ranks because you're going to be able to punish a lot of mistakes and if you don't have that ignite you're just not going to have the damage to punish when they try and you know 2v1 you in, in a big ass creep wave or whatever right or they tower dive you and they end up getting away with like 10 health because you just don't have the damage so that's why you take ignite so here's the problem we're facing right now we are going against a Jax and a whole lot of ap there there's a lot of magic damage in there also on top of it Jax, you can't blind him when he is helicoptering that's a big problem that is a massive massive issue so essentially what all i need to do is take advantage of him as much as i can here just like this just like this okay take advantage of him once he gets level two we have to really 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 respect him though but until that point we are fine he's playing this really well actually okay he just randomly hit two there. Damn. Wow. That is incredible. So again, that's what you really have to watch out for is him just jumping on you on repeat. And it's so easy for him to do that. As you can see, like that was like a two second cooldown. You know, it really sucks. This is a lane that really sucks. And that's why we're going to have to be very, very safe. He is playing this really freaking well, actually. I'm gonna have to use my other health potions when I get too low here. He is gonna jump on me here for this cannon. I can bait this out though, I think. Oh, he's playing so weird. Why is he not being aggressive anymore? Okay, once that's down, it's free reign. He can fight me if he wants to. Okay, here we go down here down here down here down here down here down here damn okay he's got no ward now he can't he can't ward hop now this is good we're in a good spot if he jumps on us i just kite him back into my creep wave and then he dies i'll just chase him down and kill him this is a very good spot to be in i'm gonna try and poke him out a little bit so we can maybe tower dive mm, i don't know if he'll actually walk up or not This is a free kill here if he autos me there we go i can't dive him i'm gonna go back definitely cannot dive him all right tricky situation tricky situation uh i say we get boots a refill a control ward i'm gonna do this because I, I really need to be able to kite him out honestly okay so don't remember we're not going to put our ward down or anything because this is going to push into me ideally i would like to freeze this in this situation now my cs is going to just be really bad into jacks because the thing is if you walk up you just get destroyed you get melted so except that you're going to have really shitty cs against jacks it just it is what it is unless you have a big giant creep wave to kite into then that's fine but remember man you will get deleted absolutely deleted and we'll make up for it later so it won't be too bad what's he doing oh here we go um nah he has flash he's gonna chase him down and go for the kill there but he's got flash so can't do it dude dude Oh my God, this sucks. Okay, we'll just slow push back into him. Oh, okay. Man, last hitting under ta on, under tower with Teemo is tough. Tower Teemo tough, that was funny, okay. 
slow push boys slow 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 push we need to get to where he is and, and farm experience everything i think we have the same experience which is good but the reason why you slow push is uh you're you have the potential of denying him also we can't push fast enough so there it is also the, the biggest reason really is you get to, you can fight people in this wave you can't fight without a big wave okay nice Okay, I'm going to try and cue him. Uh, mm, it's a good opportunity for me to really mess with this guy. Anytime he tries to go up for CS, just poke the shit out of him. Beautiful. He can all in me if you want. Should be dead. Nice. And that, my friends, is how you are going to beat Jax. You're going to use his greed against him. I don't know what this guy is doing, but you're not killing me. I could actually turn around and kill him, but remember, don't tunnel. Jax has teleport. Remember that. So you have to pay attention to those things. Um, I'm just going to go Leeching Leer here because we are building up a snowball. Leeching Leer is very important to get as early as you can. And now... We can, we can consider going things like uh, stopwatch and stuff. But here's also a problem. Plated steel caps is actually going to be good because of Tristana and Jack. So I might actually just have to go steel caps. He has nothing. Literally nothing. I got him to attack the minion. All right, now I will push and I'm going to go for turret plating. We're not going to freeze. Freezing in this elo is good at times, but when someone doesn't have TP and we, we actually have level six, we can shove all that good stuff. You got to send it. Okay. Also, check this out. Bot lane is feeding their asses off, right? So I need to make up for it by trying to take this thing as quickly as I can. Ow. Ooh, man. I guess we didn't push as fast as I wanted to here, huh? Okay. I will go for one turret plate. We see Karthus. Oh, shit. Dude, what? It doesn't even make any sense. This is a free kill for me. Even if I flash auto Q, I think he lives there. So I'm not going to save our mana here. He has no way of escaping here. And as you can see, like if you just position correctly, he can't do anything to us. Rift. Yes. Beautiful. Good job. Beautiful. Let's go. It's a very random Karthus ult. And now what I get to do is I get to group with my team. And again, I'm only doing this in this elo because... One more wave. Because it makes sense. Now I'm mid lane. Taking care of business. Nine and three Tristana is who I need to worry about here. So what I really want to do is I want to hard shove it. Oh, that was scary. I would love to hard shove this. No, I actually can just kill this guy, I think. Whoa. Sometimes you guys ever play League and your character just like randomly freezes. It happens to me all the time. Cast, go top. Please. Okay. Right. Okay, thank God. Thank God he's listening to me, dude. All right, no chance in the universe that anyone ever outsmites a, uh, a Nunu. Okay. Free kill. And now we're gonna go mid and we're gonna start to dominate mid lane, okay? So 
oftentimes let's just assume your mid laner sucks right and he's like oh four or something my guy's not really doing that well it's kind of how it is it is what it is so swapping is one of the best things i can do here just need to go for turret plating we know where Jax is Jax is now dead so i get to do this i have also have a soraka on me too so it's kind of free low Look at this, dude. We're doing good. Also, my Kogma is going to be a tank later, too. Go bot. Solo EXP. Okay. He has to know I'm invisible, right? Oh, he sees me. <laughs> okay, now you have to make sure you don't get uh, ganked here. We don't get um, a little, little... We don't get cocky. Don't die. Uh, oh my God, he's dead. Oh my God, we are so dead. Let's kill. Bro, I cannot move fast enough for this shit. Wow, my team, my Nunu is literally a smurf, dude. What the hell? Okay, we go for tower here. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. 30 seconds. Try and bust out as many plates as I can. Wow, that was, I was actually really, really scared there. Should be able to get one more plate here. See, I only do 43 damage. God. All right, we're going to go immediately for Nasher's Tooth. After that, I'm probably just going to grab a Zonia's. I think Zonia's will be the best thing. Zonia's and uh, Sork Shoes. When I'm this fed, I always grab Sork Shoes because I know I can actually do a shitload of damage. Okay, there's Tristana. All right, now it's a Cannon Wave, so I can actually recall here. Beautiful. We're going to ignore this. We're going to take this Rift Herald. Um, I am going to put this here just to be a little safe. I don't know what that Sorak is doing. I mean, there's no need to do that. We're going to get that tower no matter what, right? It's not going anywhere. Is he just sitting there 1v1ing Jax? Do I need to help him? Now we're good. Drag this away for mid lane. Okay, so uh, try not to miss this farm here. That's why I wanted Soraka and Nuna to do this right away, and I wouldn't have even missed any of this, like at all. And I'm going to miss a lot of this, actually. Now, when you're this fed as well, take all the blues if you can. But don't be an asshole about it. Like, don't steal the blues. Like, you know, if they're like crying about it, just like ping and just ask. So we want everyone to be mid. I don't want to be caught out alone here. 20 seconds until dragon. So the next best thing for me to do is to chill. No need, no need to be, no need to be crazy. So they know that's there. That's fine. And take this. There's no universe that they do anything to us. And if they do just run back to your shroomies. There's no universe they steal this. And if they jump in here, they're just all going to die. It's fine. I mean, like, I don't even know what the hell this guy's doing. All mid. Rift mid, all five mid now. Go, 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 go. The reason why you want all five mid against the same shit as last game. We're, we're taking our lead and we're shoving it down their throats. Because if we do, if we don't do this, what's going to happen is your teammates are going to feed and the enemy team's going to get too fed. So you're basically this is the strategy to beat people in gold and in platinum because they don't they can't deal with this because they're look at Jax thinks it's a good idea to continue split pushing. It's not. But if I mean if this is like hot really high elo, Jax is not up there. All five of them are here defending this and we're not getting this, you know. 
so that's what i'm saying just you can do whatever the hell you want to do in the silo as long as you're doing this you know hell we could probably fucking even end the game right now we could probably even end the game we honestly could if they don't come over here I just want to do the next best thing. I mean, look, it's 17 minutes into the game and we're about to take double inhibs. What gold elo game have you ever played that was like this? You know, it's not too often. It's like this. And look, this guy thinks he, it, it's just, it's ridiculous. So we're just going to keep going. We are just going to keep going because they have given up. Look at that. Simple, huh? Now use your shrooms. Use your shrooms all up in here. Just trying to clear the waves. Dodging the Karthus Skittles. I'm just going to keep doing my thing. I'm going to ignore their whole team and just keep doing this. And there you go, boys. Two games in a row ended so easily. I'm only two and one. But because I played macro better, I only have 126 farm. All I did was just take my lead and shove it down their throats. That's all you got to do. That's it. Okay. We are now in Platinum Elo. So let's see how this goes. Sadly, we are going against a Gwen. This is, this is, God, this is one of the hardest matchups in the entire world. The, the thing about Gwen, I mean, you guys should already understand this about Teemo because I already talked about it, is this champion is just so freaking useless until you get Riftmaker. So really the strategy is to just farm and just try not to push. Like if you could ever poke with grasp, like go for it, you know, but it's really not that, really not that big of a deal. It, you're you farming to absolute perfection and getting rift maker is more important than anything else so just remember that try not to use your abilities to farm unless you absolutely have to i am not very good at last hitting on this champion because i play melee champs so that's just something that that's something that's going to be hard for me inherently but if you guys play teemo a lot you guys should be fine this guy's really um really passive why are you so passive it's a Lee Sin jungle too. Very, very easily, easily ganked. Oh, we, we you know, Timo actually just got a nice little buff for his W, so I'm pretty, ch I'm chilling with that. Nice. Try not to last it with your Q either, dude. You'll, you'll feed so hard. Q does no damage. Okay. And we don't miss. Okay, that would have been a huge hit there. There we go. Like how it's like zero damage, basically. <laughs> oh, this is an awkward situation. Oh my God, I actually see us pretty well. I don't really care if Lee comes up here because I, I honestly can just dip. Damn it. Stop missing farm, Glacier. You stupid noob. Still has a potion. Yeah, I see the pings. I'm staring at my mini map right now because I know Lee's little punk ass is going to be here in a second. The only thing I hate about Teemo is I have your attack range is just so bad. But here's the thing. So notice what I'm doing is um, if Gwen wants to walk up here, I'll auto her to death, right? Right? I'll just send her, send her to Pound Town. Oh, this dive is so sketchy. Okay. There we go. Let me just shove real quick. Should be good, right? Let's go. Let's get the frick out of before releasing. Whoo! That's a perfect dive, dude. Wow. You gotta love junglers that do that, man. Holy shit. That's my boy right there, man. That's my boy. That's my duo partner. Let's go. Shouldn't have to use potions. Um, so try not to buy that many. Also, another thing I learned is try not to waste a bunch of money on control wards as well. 
I found myself buying like six, seven control words a game. And while that is good, I think in Challenger, it'd be way more useful, but I'm not in Challenger. So let's not waste money. Try and do, just try and be very, very selfish with your gold. Like I'm going to carry, so I'm going to buy items that are going to help me carry. Oh shit. Oh God. I just missed both of those. Okay. I'm just the worst. Damn, dude. If I was a, if I was better at last hitting with this champion, this would be so much easier. Okay. And now we just slow push. Slow push and control. Slow push and control. If she ever tries to fight us, we run. We run away. Also, I'm not going to use my shroomies because there's no point. Teemo is very, very, very mana hungry. Okay. Keep chilling I, I notice how i'm not trying to even like worry about killing this guy the, the fact is when you play team you're not killing anyone dude oh that was awkward you're just you're just really not going to kill anyone you know i'm gonna put this here just in case i get in trouble dude no Oh my God, I missed so many of those. He should be fine. Nice. <laughs> lol, 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 lol. Okay. Okay, just in case. That was a good see like look at that shroom placement, baby. Okay, we're 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 doing this. We are just absolutely dominating. Yo, it's a Viego diff. It's a Viego diff 100%. I'm just showing up trying to do things. Wow. Please just give me my Rift Maker and I will be so useful, man. I'll be so happy. And, and you know, so this is, you guys are probably wondering why even bother going Ignite if you're not going to kill people. It's that reason right there. It's to be useful. It's it's that simple, dude. Either you, you do it or you don't. You know, if you go TP, bro, you're not, what are you going to do with TP, right? What? Oh my God. That is why you don't last it with Q. No! Ah! Okay, we're good. All right, might as well demolish proc this bad boy. Didn't even realize that was like that. Okay, we are in a really bad spot because he is gonna hard shove this and now I am screwed. Well, it's the price to pay. I'll just lose the six minions. It is what it is. We'll make it up later. Not too shabby. Dude, I can't believe how much CS do I miss, man? You know what's crazy? I don't think this guy understands how to play Teemo. Like at all. Or what? Gwen? Okay. Whatever, dude. Whatever. Are you really that broken? What? A, that's a, that's a real champion, guys. That is a real champion that is in this game. That is crazy. That is unbelievable. I saved you. Oh. Okay. My bad. I should have came. I should have came sooner. My B. I should have come sooner. All right. Let's just go back. Let's get. Let's get a pair of boots here and start working on Nashers. To use all my mana to get back to lane just by Wing. But the good news is I only missed one minion, so I'm happy with this. Please God, make it so I can get all these. Oh, 
Oh my god, this sucks. Dude, how does that bitch get away? Like, what even is that? That's so gross. I mean, 90 to 68 though, right? I'm, ha I'm a happy camper. I think I could 1v1 her, to be honest with you. Okay, he should just basically just die there. He should get absolutely obliter obliterated. Are you shitting me? The worst TP in existence and it works for him. Okay, you know, pre listen, pre Teemo, that's a kill. Pre Teemo, that is a kill. Sorry, pre nerf. Would love to get this right now. We're a little weak right now. Um, honestly, I'll just back off. Um, to be honest with you, man, Sork shoes seem really good here. Honestly, like, I'm not even worried about any of them. I might just go Sork shoes. Okay. Okay. Oh man. Okay, I'll take one. Take a little bit of lunch, you know? Um, we can just probably just walk it down top lane, honestly. This game is a complete Viego diff, dude. Oh, and we, we also have a freaking Yone that's dominating too, so that makes me very happy. Once we get uh, Stank, 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 Nasher's Tooth, it's over. Bro, there ain't no way I can't just dominate this kid, right? I mean, I have Riftmaker and he does not, right? Okay. Whole team could be missing, but I am strong. I can 1v2. Gotta watch out for that Lee Sin gank, because, like, these guys love to just overcommit to everything here, so... Um, oh my god, those doubles. <gasps> oh, I would love those. But I don't want to be greedy. Let's just go back. So here's the thing too. Demonic Embrace is the worst item in the game right now. In no way, shape, or form will you ever end up building that piece of garbage. So don't build it. Okay, you hear me guys? Don't build it. It is so bad. It is so goddamn bad. Just don't build it. Also, on top of that, Teemo, you don't want to split push ever. Now, I know you see me in a side lane doing this right now, and it's because I, I am so strong I can 1v2. That is the only reason I'm doing it right now, but um, you, you really just want to... You really want to group as much as you can. So, well, luckily, my team's carrying the shit out of me, but you'll find out. You'll see. There's going to be a lot of situations where I'm going to have to do this. I'm going to have to basically ignore my farming up top. Which I don't like to do, but when you're in the lower ranks, you have to. You you cannot farm. Also, why don't I just run full speed at this this Hosa? This guy's done though. Here we go. It's too tanky. Way too tanky. Damn it. What a champion. All right, let's just go mid lane. Let's try and get, let's try and stir the pot. Get out of here. Oh, I'd love to kill that guy. Okay, there, I mean, there's not much we can do right now. Their whole squad is there. Okay, yeah, you guys are so dead. Jump for the hook. Okay.
Okay. Okay. Hey! Riftmaker, baby. You got a little too... A little too crazy there. Cash money. God damn, I'm so... I'm so weak compared to, like, every champion in this damn game. Yeah, let's not be greedy. Let's not be greedy. No need, no need. No, 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 no. I will not be greedy now. Okay, let's let's take these uh, golems on the way home. Okay. Hopefully we don't get into any trouble. Like, do you see how often I'm oom um, though? Isn't it crazy? Okay. It's just, you gotta be really careful, man. That's why like in lane, you just never are spamming spells. You're never spamming Q, you're never spamming R. You're literally just trying to auto attack 24 seven. All right, I got Nasher's Tooth. Now I am a false to be, oh God. <laughs> why are you running towards me? I got no mana. <laughs> the one in three severe, get out of here. No, thanks. All right. We need to try and group with our team as much as we possibly can here. All right, also, I have a control word, but my plan with the control word is to hold on to it as long as I can. Oh man, he's throwing. Big throws. Oh my gosh. I hate missing CS. I like one HP. We got a group. We have to group. We are way too strong to not group. Uh, I'll shove this wave because we're here. Now we see everyone mid lane, so this is a completely safe mood move. Again, I am splitting. Oh shit. I just, that's why I don't split. It, like, look, so I am so fed and he was able to, to 1v1 me. So one thing I will say, is um i 100 percent 100 percent would have lived there if i had plated steel caps it's the only difference okay now we get free baron though so i'm gonna just group the rest of the game i mean like that's just a perfect example of why it's so important to uh group it up That is why it's so important. I'm already out of mana, by the way. I'm gonna go take this blue, dude. Screw this. You use like a couple W's. I think they should reduce the mana cost of W or Q or something, because this is ridiculous. It's really not even worth it to build any mana items on this champion in the first place, so. Okay, nice. I love the, they reduced the cooldown by W by I think four seconds, which is, pr I'm noticing it's pretty big. Okay, uh, let's go get with our teammates here. Uh, their whole team is gonna collapse on me here. Whole team is gonna collapse on me. Let's make sure we're safe. Got my boys near me. I got a stopwatch as well to protect myself, make sure I'm safe. Oh, I thought you. So cute. Look at Gwen just taking zero damage. Look at that true damage. Teamoing, dude. I'm literally just teamoing. I mean, this is this is what Teemo is about right here. This is really all it is. Don't split push. Just don't. 
It's really tempting to, especially when you're fed, but man, just close out the game, dude. It's so tempting to, honestly. Look at how freaking broken Gwen is, by the way. Like, what even is that tankiness, bro? Nice. GG. All right, next one. All right, we back at it again, mates. Platinum. Platinum right now. <clears throat> what is this, Lisa? <laughs> what? What are you doing? You're crazy. What? My question is, when people do that, like, what are you going to do if someone's in there? Nothing. So what the hell are you doing, mate? The fuck is happening? Yeah, this guy's just a weirdo. Fuck. <laughs> All right, whatever. Um, okay, same plan. So look, let's let's talk about this. So um, you guys already know, lane phase, don't do anything. You're useless. But specifically into Riven, man, this, this matchup is scary all about spacing and really the best thing you can do is get your steel kappas as fast as possible that'll make it so that she won't just delete you and laugh in your face afterward after that you guys already know the drill rift maker um i will go nashers and then i will go zonia's this game as well and then after that we'll see i'm the only ap again so um maybe cosmic drive to help kite out riven kite out these guys would be really nice but i shall see god dude i hate timo <laughs> uh, just for that reason bro just for that reason oh my god also what is this guy doing it's quite confusing but i will say you need to respect the bejesus out of this i have, I have bone plating we win this we win that we win that hard i got bone plating bro if you have bone plating up, uh, you're not really going to take that much damage, especially if he plays it like that. That wasn't great. That was kind of sloppy. It's kind of sloppy toppy, mate. I mean, this is kind of just how we're going to do. Got no shield now. Staring at my mini map all game long, looking for that poppy. Oh, dude, I hate my life. Could have hit him there. Uh, I, I got a pretty big wave here. Poppy's heading top. What is this guy even doing? This guy does not play this champion. And neither do I. So we say there's no there's no advantage on either side because we both suck. Oh my god, if I missed that, I would have quit the game. Like one hundo. Uh, I see Lee Sin is invading. Okay, beautiful. We are going to look for a big, fat, juicy dive, just like last game. Um, Should I pop a potion here? Probably. Yeah, that's why. Okay. Glad I started. I should have popped that potion earlier. I think anytime you're going to get into the danger zone, dude, you got to. And look at how much CS he's missing. No fucking way. Okay, are you gonna die? That was really sloppy. All right, that's okay. That's okay. Denied him a lot of farm, so it is what it is. Um, do I want to go leeching Leer first at this point? I mean, he's got no flash now. He's not gonna kill me. So maybe I just go here, here. Um, I, man, we're going to be fighting quite a bit. If I get all this, I'm actually the legend 27. Ah! Come on, come on, come on. Ah, no. One universe. One day I will perfectly farm. I'm Teemo pre-level six, so I don't have any pushing power, but we are pushing. What the hell is this ribbon doing, bro? This guy's making up his own damn rules. What the frick? So look. I think everyone should be able to understand why it's stupid to do what he's doing. Early dragon really doesn't mean anything. It really doesn't. So what is the reasoning behind you even doing that? 
He's missing so much farm. Um, if I could fight him here, actually, that'd be kind of sick. Oh, damn it. Okay, let's see if I can get this. I should be able to get this because the cannon. Nice. Oh, I'm so fucked. Okay, that was way too close for comfort. Let's go back. That was so scary, dude. I'm that so I should have died there. 100%. Um yeah, I should have died, dude. This just seems so sketchy. I'm going to pop a potion, honestly. I know he wants it, dude. Are you going to like do anything here or what? Thank you. Thanks for smurfing. Dude, my junglers, man. Holy shit. I've gotten like, I played like three games today and all of my junglers are absolute monsters. Also, I think Riven TP'd. I'm going to assume she did. And if not, I'm, oh shit. I'm out. Screw this, dude. I am not getting TP'd on. Run. Run for days. Yasuo, you got this. My duo. Kill him. Okay, whatever. Um, I'm going to get plated steel kappa so I don't get one shotted and then we will go the leer. We're doing good. 55 CS to 32. I, I, I think this ribbon is autofilled. If I had to guess, it's got to be an autofill. I'm also less scared now. I like at this point, I'm just not going to take any damage from this guy. He's also going serrated dirk. Oh, I don't know. I'm so fucked. Holy shit, they suck so badly. Oh my god. What elo is this, dude? What the hell? <sighs> Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for not dying, Glacier. I really appreciate it. <gasps> uh, no thanks. That was worth it. Dude, you see, that's why we got plated steel kappas. If I didn't have the kappas and if I didn't cue the, the ribbon there. 100% my punk ass was dead. 100% me and my crack ass was dead. Okay. Riven, shove that out. Be a good be a good little doggy. Arf, 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 arf. Yeah, I'm chilling, bro. I am chilling. Screw this. I'm not even I'm not even going to give Poppy a chance to sit in that brush and kill me. Okay. We know where Poppy is. We know where Riven is. Hard shove. And this, my friends, is superior wave management slash macro play. This is why I, I'm going to just beat this Riven alone. She's just, look at what she, what is she doing, right? If you're this Riven player that thinks roaming like this is okay, I promise you it's not. I mean, it's, I think, I don't think he plays Riven. Run to the hills. Run for your life. Actually, I can't go back here. Yeah, look, she's triple queuing. Yeah, she does not play Riven. Let me see if I can kill her. Actually, I think I can kill her if she comes in here. What? Agreed on you. God, this Lee Sin is smurfing, dude. Absolutely smurfing. <laughs> That's funny that uh, all I did was just spam ping the Lee. All right, so like these last two games, I've just got my lane kind of camped. So this is kind of kind of awesome. But, you know, if you're not getting junglers legitimately, you just need to survive until lane phase and take advantage of when people do stupid shit. Like, you see how this ribbon does this? People do this shit all the time across all elos. So it's like, it's going to happen for you too. Be patient. Oh god. Nice TP. Well, this is unfortunate because I'm gonna miss the whole freaking wave. Go invisible. Run, save me. 
save me i'm trapped in a vile world holy crap i love getting babysat i love it this is amazing it's just this damn driven decision making man it's it's ruining her day I mean, to be honest with you, it's really just the fact that she has 60 farm. You know, if she was roaming and she had perfect CS right now, it really wouldn't matter that she died four times. It really wouldn't. It also, her building a serrated dirk, stupid. Makes no sense. You are not fed. In fact, my friend, you are behind. Also, is she, is she going to stop my recall here? Because if she does, I'm kind of, I'm going to be really mad. Here we go. Okay. Don't know where Poppy is. Don't care. I got a shroom right in my back pocket. I ain't a city boy. Bring this over here. Oh, wait. Okay. This is not really going how I want. I was kind of hoping that Riven would come over here. Hold on. Why don't I just kill her? I am so fed right now. That's like no damage. Ow. This is awkward. deserve to die I hate myself I'm just so dead I'm just so, so dead it's disgusting to play get shit on that's team owing all right i'm an idiot i'm an idiot for being greedy right there i'm an idiot i you, i always forget ribbon is still ribbon all right i don't know what is going on here kaisa is eight and one holy shit bro i'm getting so lucky guys here's the here's the secret you want to climb play a million games on an account get really good Wow, he just actually just went in there one versus two and kind of won. Oh shit, awkward. This guy's a smurf, man. Jesus. Let's make sure we don't get caught out here. Again, without Riftmaker, I mean, we're, we have an extremely awkward gold value right now, so... Now, look, there they are. Okay. Extremely awkward gold value, dude. I just need my damn Rift Maker. Last game, we got it so early, and then this game, it's like, uh, it was like 200 gold off. So I was like, all right, I need to get a stopwatch. Not the greatest time, but it is okay. It is okay. Let's just go group, honestly. Forget about all this farm. I don't even care. Let's group it up, man. My team's dominatrix right now. My team is in the matrix. Uh, it's kind of weird though. We kind of can't really even do anything, honestly. Unless they overcommit. It's kind of sad. Um, I, uh, this is awkward. I'm just going to go about He's going to get that. Uh, I can destroy this guy in a one-on-one -on -one for sure. Without a doubt. This guy's, this guy's going down. Let's wait a second. Let's see where he goes. He's got to be going this way, right? No, he's not. Wait, what are you doing? <laughs> oh my God, so sad. I was gonna fucking break my keyboard if I didn't. Um, yeah, I was actually gonna break my keyboard 100%. Wow. Dude, what is going on? We are in late night Smurf queue right now. I'm going to just play this. I might just play on this account for the diamond games too, because we're going to start playing against D4s in a second here. Damn, that's awesome. Okay. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play on this account uh, for the next two games too, guys. 
because we should be getting placed against some d4s very soon i was on this account i was getting placed like d4 d3 constantly so but that was before i tried playing cho'gath and like trolling and demoted a little bit <laughs> kind of trolled kind of troll -la 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 -la. all right they're good let's just do this dude what that was like a second late okay let's go back uh my goal is to just try and see if i can get this whole wave i don't think i will be able to but i'm just gonna go b what a fucking cringe lord dude oh my god dude I am so happy. I'm no. Why? Why do you even do that there? That doesn't even make sense. Dude, I am teamoing so hard right now. That literally made no sense. I'm dead. I fucking hate this game. Get me out of here. Oh my God, please. Oh my God. Get me the fuck out of here, dude. Just leave me alone. You weirdo. <laughs> <gasps> oh my god all right i am definitely global taunting these guys i am global gl hardcore like why like why i don't even understand all right now the tooth um i don't like to shroom the objectives too hard dude do you even need a team do you even like need teammates wow he just one shot at that wave let me guess. Go ahead. Yeah, I think we should take Baron. You guys were really trying to take. Wow. Wow. What an absolute mistake. Come here, one. Come here, one and five. Come on. If I get a hold of you. You're dead. Little rat. Better go back, hombre. Oh no, not that team always room. Oh no, not that team always room. We're in, we're in it to end it, baby. Okay. Send it, baby. Oh man, that's the end of the game. All right, well, very, very, very confusing game, but I feel like if you're going to play Teemo in this state right now, this is just how it's going to be. Okay. Oh, shit. We're good. We're chilling. We're chilling. We're chilling. Okay. I'm just getting so many assists just by being there, man. All right, let's keep playing on this one. All right, fellas, so we are playing on the same account and everyone in this game is plat one and I, there might be a D4 or two on the enemy team. Um, so like I said, plat one, if you're plat two, plat one D4 is literally the same thing. Um, I have been in all those elos a thousand times. There is no difference. Really what you're gonna wanna focus on is slash muting all. Most, one of the most toxic elos of all time is this elo and focusing on the things that matter as in like you need to stop worrying about like oh i'm gonna chase this guy down and go for this kill oh i'm gonna be greedy and take this baron oh i'm gonna do a stupid tower dive when i don't know where the jungler is right you gotta start thinking about everything 10 steps ahead and if you don't oh shit, it's going to be a disaster so it's really that simple honestly platinum players tend to not think very much and that is what gets you into a shitload of trouble okay all right that was a really good juke by me actually this guy's going phase rush so i'm like really not fuck i thought it was two okay that was a mistake all right let me let me focus up here because we're going against jace it's really easy for jace to beat us i thought it was two the hell man that's why i walked up oh god Try and start thinning out this wave because he is really OP. 
into team at least. Oh my god, dude, I'm missing so many minions. But so is he though, so not too bad. Just trying to avoid everything that we can. We got we could have Nidalee Spears coming in at any second as well, so we really gotta respect this guy's hammer form. He can hammer form whenever he wants. Like if I walk up for that CS, he could easily just kill me. So there's Nidalee. Nice. He's gonna shoot uh right when that dies, he's gonna shoot it at me. Okay surprising that he's not contesting me under the tower this is confusing me if someone ever does this you better thank them man because they're they're a godsend damn it oh my god i almost had all that almost had all that damn 17 to 20 we're doing good um i think the plan here is grab the steel kappas as fast as possible as fast as possible actually if i get if i go back with a leeching leer i'm down with that too to be honest with you it'll make last hitting a lot easier for me and remember this the pay attention to how you're playing if, you, if, a, if you're going against the guy that's freezing and stuff you probably should get the steel cap as first but this guy just is giving me free farm constantly which means it doesn't really matter if i get it or not um we could get lane ganked too here gonna put that there just watch out for a lane gank he's kind of playing a little weird so i'm gonna stop shoving i'm only like uh shoving because he's pushing so hard he's not doing anything that's confusing the shit out of me and i am missing a lot of cs because of it so we're gonna play all the way up here come on man throw an eq let's try and get him to gate maybe so i can push it i, I need to stay over here because if nidalee comes up here i am dead come on buddy here let's try and just tank some damage what is he doing? Come on, press it. I'm standing right here. Do what Jace people do. Come on. So what this means is uh, Nidalee's coming to gank me. That's what he's... He's trying to set it up. He's realizing... Oh, man. He's realizing he's being stupid, and I think... But I will not fall for it. I'm staring at my minimap right now. And I am ready to haul ass away. The second he runs towards me, dude, I'm gone. We're just neck and neck and farm, honestly. This is hilarious. I fucking wish I could kill him, dude. The thing is, I can't even get close enough to auto him. If I do, I'm just going to take... He's going to jump on me and just like, half HP me. All right, Mountain Dragon's huge. Huge. Only a little bit of resistance is from it, but any dragon is better than nothing. All right, let's shove this. Okay, very easily ganked right now. Extremely easily ganked. Definitely want to poke him out a little bit in this wave. Yep, see? Perfect. Cued right when I needed to. Didn't take any damage at all. It was awesome. All right, let's get the bricks out of here. Not a really good time to recall, to be honest with you. I might not actually be able to be, but let me see what he does. I want to see. Okay. Went for it. I'm going to go for the Leer. This is crazy. Renekton mid is so good, too. I feel bad for Azir because, like, he's the worst champion in the fucking game right now. I don't think this guy's ever played Jace before. Like, the way he's playing is so confusing. All right, let's trim this. I don't want too many minions getting under the, the tower. Because then he could pretend... I mean, he's supposed to be pressuring me. But he's not. Yeah, she doesn't know how to play this champion whatsoever. Okay. For some reason, we keep going against a bunch of people that like aren't one tricks and it's very confusing. And I think it's because we're sitting around plot one and not true diamond four, because if it was true diamond four, we'd be going against all one tricks, dude. Oh, this guy just went back and TP'd. Oh. 
God, I wish I had a little armor there. I thought I was gonna, I thought you were gonna try and set up a dive. So I started to try and uh, prepare for it in any way that I could. This is also a weird ass game. I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna miss all those. God dang it. Man. Uh, if he comes running out of there, I'm fine. I'll just run to Shivana. Let's just go B. Um, hopefully he doesn't hard shove that. Hopefully he slow pushes. I think he will. Uh, let's go steal Kappa's honestly for the Jace. Good investment. Control ward, a potion. Nice. Um, considering just putting a shroom down here, honestly, just to be safe. Nice. Yeah, this this guy doesn't know what he's doing. All right, if this is the case, man, then you just chill and just farm. Let's get Rift Maker as fast as we possibly can. Because once I get that Rift Maker, I will be useful. Probably not as useful as uh, Jace, but you know, still good enough. Just let him push. Look at him. He's getting three man ganked constantly mid lane. Holy shit. That's so sad. It's kind of nothing that he can do, honestly. Maybe Yumi sit mid. Ooh, good try. One to one. If I had Ignite there, I would have gone for it. Good shit. Let's go. Punish that stupid bard. We're playing like an idiot. I'm killing this guy. He's low on mana. Yeah, you better run. Chicken shit. Oh no. Should not have TP. God, dude, who is this person? Like, such a weirdo. doing pretty good i guess hmm you think he'll come up here no oh hit the wrong one it's all right he's ahead of me in cs but it's not like detrimental This has been the most like boring game of Teemo I think I've ever played. This is like insanely boring. Um, Ranjit's died. I think he'll be fine. 
Okay, we're connecting to smurfing. Okay. Uh, okay, we're going against a smurf. I might actually be able to beat this guy in a fight. I think I should try and take take over this game a little bit more. Dude, what? I hate when that happens. Minions just like randomly get sniped. Yeah, I could I could be here. I have Rift Maker. Okay. Oh my god, I freaking misclicked. Dude, I am so tired of missing CS on this champion. It's so random. Oh, don't tell me you guys are dead. Let's go, turn it around, turn it around, turn it upside down. He's ignited. He's ignited. Eh, skirt. Bitch. What's happening? I group my team, boy. That's what happened when I group with my mother sucking team, you little bitch. Whew. Might be a good time to recall, honestly. Yeah, let's just go B. Hopefully it shoves into us. It looks like it actually is slow pushing into us, which is sick. Okay. Now we got to decide what we want. No way. No way. No way, right? <laughs> Timo! <laughs> no way did I just get that. Holy shit, did I really just get that? They aced us and they just left me to take it. That's hilarious. Um, I don't know if I want to use Rift Herald right now. Probably not, honestly. It's just some power recall, I think. Yeah, just get out of here. Oh, he's so screwed. Unless he turns it. No way. Okay, this is such a... Dude, Platinum is so weird to me because it's like everyone just loves throwing the game violently hard. Okay, let's get out of here. Uh oh okay oh okay boys we are a global taunt um so again right low diamond platinum there is no excuse to make that play um it doesn't make any sense to make that play right it doesn't make any sense there is nothing gained out of out of killing me there right so you got to understand like the, the the way you people climb really hard is to not waste time with doing stupid things like that when you do something like that you're wasting cooldowns you're wasting your own time blah blah blah. yeah sure you got like 300 gold out of it nice whatever right but it's like bro set up something for to take a uh, rift herald to take dragon to i don't know to do to do literally anything it doesn't it just doesn't make sense so i'm gonna take this i'm gonna go for a tier two tower Their whole team is down there. Oh my God, dude. So I'm just gonna go for this. Nice. I'm gonna just go for, uh, I'm gonna use Rift here. So most of their team should be down there. And if Jace does come up here, Jace, should not be able to one shot me, I don't think. Mm. Okay. Nothing I could do there. Man, you know what's sad? If I had mana for that fight with Jace, he was so dead. Oh my god. Like, he was so, so screwed. All right, well, I'm just going to chill, honestly. Oh my God, one HP on them. 
probably shove one more wave here the thing that keeps happening is these guys keep getting caught out by themselves and i guess i've been caught out twice but i mean at least i'm getting something done for it i don't mind trading my life for the potential of like you know we almost i, I potentially could have gotten the inhib tower at very minimum okay now i'm gonna get out of here i'm gonna go chill with my friends are you gonna die again you are okay So, y'all down to FF? Y'all trolling. I don't get it. You're fucking full of shit. Good. Dead. Okay, we're gonna win this one. I have to get Zonius as quickly as I can. Main issue we are having right now is we are getting one shotted by everyone. So I really, 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 really need Zonius. And then I really, 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 really need to figure out a way of killing this guy. I don't know what I'm going to do. No one on my team is warding. Nobody is warding. All right, you know, we got to stop doing, we got to stop using our Q to clear waves because by the time I have to show up to a fight, I'm out of mana. Okay, I'll take that shit. Let's go. Everyone focus me. Let's go. Um, Jinx probably is dead there. Yeah. Honestly, I think I'm just such a massive taunt right now. I think I'm such a massive taunt that what I need to do is potentially even just go tanky. Like I might want to consider going like a thorn mail or something, dude. I know it seems weird, but like, I'm not gonna really do that much damage. Like we have Azir for the damage and the rest of my team. I'm not gonna do any damage. Give him the third, okay. Vice choice. All right. Let's think about this. Where can I, where's a good spot I can put my blue trinket at? And it not be taken constantly. Oh, why does that have a timer on it? Oh, it's a zombie ward. Okay, I'm gonna hold on to it just in case they try and baron. So the good news is that Jinx is fed his balls. I'm just gonna try and peel for him, dude. Okay. They are all up in there, dude. Oh, they're back, okay. Okay, Zir's pushing. Can I take some jungle camps? Cannot. Dread buff up? What? Is there really nothing up? Oh my god. There's no way Nidalee took that. Oh yes. Got Zonias. Okay. Oh my god. So that's what we need to do. Okay. But again, I think Thornmail would be amazing into their team. Doesn't make any sense at all. Like Morello might even be better, but 
this game specifically i'm getting targeted so much and i'm jumping into their team it's kind of like uh it, it really makes a lot of sense jesus man thank god this uh jinx is doing so much freaking damage man uh to be honest with you what do i do here best thing to do is honestly prep baron side okay uh, i'm gonna go support my teammates they, sh they shouldn't be down there right now to be honest with you they really should not be as you can see okay saved him jesus what an idiot what an idiot i have blue buff so at this point i'm just trying to waste all these yeah dude i, I honestly think thornmail would be god tier here i'm literally just trying to go tank teemo and what i could do if they build any more M magic resist i can just go void staff or something but i probably go cosmic drive our jinx is really bad at the game but can uh, can actually carry no vision bro no vision okay i'm gonna shove this out real quick just get a quick little shove don't use our q here um this dragon's really not that important to be honest with you might be able to actually get them to low hp could i kill him now Oh, we just gave him soul. That's pretty stupid. This is what it is. Maybe we probably just run it down. Ain't got no mana. I'm tanky as a hit. I'm tanky as balls, though. Are they really not taking dragon? This is surprising. Might be in my best interest. Yeah, this dragon's shit, dude. It's a shitty ass dragon. Give it to the soul. So, like, if it was a different soul, we would definitely take it, but we don't care. Yeah, we don't give a flying F, man. Yeah, have fun. Come with the useless dragons. So, right there, I mean, like, that's just, like, game knowledge. That's a terrible play that they just made. That dragon soul doesn't mean shit. All right, we're in an awkward spot here. I really want this cosmic drive. I'm going to go farm for it. This is going to be so dude. I'm going to be so freaking powerful. base race them here's another thing if they want to play this game of trying to base race us when we have baron we will destroy them it doesn't matter so remember always take the base race when you have baron always my guys always they 100 percent lose and now what's going to happen is these will shove very slowly but very surely And because I am so tanky, we are a okay. Start getting some shroomies down. I mean, like, if they want to fight me, I'll just zone you, right? 
have to flash out of this one, I think. Look at, look how freaking tanky I am, bro. So with basically how I set myself up this game is I made it so that I'm just so goddamn tanky with that Bramble Vest, Zonias. That's all I really needed. And then after I get the Cosmic Drive, remember I get in the Cosmic Drive to be able to kite them out. And then after that, I get Thorn Mail. And then, I mean, you saw it. They're all focusing me so hard the whole game. So I'm just going to make them eat shit. Okay. We are going against uh, a Jace with Ignite, a Dark Harvest, Echo, Ignite, Vladimir. There, there's a lot of scary stuff. Um, so I started Doran Shield instead to be a little bit tankier because this guy has Ignite. Kind of have no choice. All right, got my bone plating down. The scary part about this is with Jace with Ignite, means business although he did take Doran shield which is really stupid so i don't understand that at all i don't get that at all dude yeah i don't get it could not tell you why i can't believe that i almost got a solo kill on teemo wow that is ridiculous okay we're in a good spot here. I mean, really, he's just trying to fight me in my minion wave, right? So, of course, I'm going to turn that. And I have Ignite, so... You have D-Shield. If he had D-Blade, I'd be pretty scared. That's a whole different shebang. D-Blade is something to be very, very concerned with. Okay, we're just going to slow push. I'm not going to use my health potion. No need. I will uh, sustain it. Let's make sure we play towards the north side, just in case we do get ganked be a lot more uh, a lot safer up here i don't want to be too greedy right now because it is prime time for us to get ganked and it's a very easy kill for them it's like almost too easy okay he got it tank that bad boy with the bone plating though hey yeah see Jesus. Oh, man. I started hit by that. I guess I didn't need a flash. Later, bitch. Oh, my God. I'm an idiot. I forgot you had fucking ignite. Please die. No. All right. Please kill him. I am so dumb. I forgot he had ignite, man. Okay. All right. So that's completely worth it. That is completely freaking worth it because Jace just missed every single minion under the tower and now it's going to push back into me. So I got cloth armor and health push. And so that was the thing to realize is if, if he didn't have ignite, he's not killing me there. He's not killing me, um, but I'm an idiot and forgot he had ignite. So yikes. Oh no. The greed of this elo is is unbelievable okay i have i have a what was that i have cloth armor now so i am not afraid of this guy cloth armor plus bl plus bone plating equals i will take any damage yeah yeah Jesus. Okay. It's a scary guy when he uh, when you go conquer. That's the other. So the reason I'm I'm respecting this guy so much is because he has conquer ignite. Conqueror plus ignite equals you are dead. Just how how Jace works. If he has uh, phase rush, you will never ever die. Anyone that runs phase rush on Jace, dumb, 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 dumb. Okay, let's slow push. Try and make up for our lack of CS. Um, he has no ignite. Honestly, I could just fight him right now. Should not have used my health potion there. Shoot. It's looking like a recall. 
I don't actually think I can get the recall off and make it back in time. So let's not. Great job. All right. Well, I guess we're just going to stay. I, mean, we, I guess we don't really need the, the potions. I'm kind of annoyed that I used the potion there, to be honest. It's so whatever. Okay. This is uh, pushing into me. Unless I me I messed it up, actually. Never mind. Now it's slow pushing into him. No, I should not have. Uh... So if you're going to trim the wave, just, just double check. Make sure you're not sleepy and tired like I am. I am a just a sleepy. There we go. Just you got to last hit so slow. Like you can't even last hit that, you know. Okay, I mean, I denied him a wave 40 to 23 now. I'm looking on my mini map. I don't know where Jace is, but he is missing a shitload of farm and XP. This is great. This is this is literally the perfect scenario. Well, it'd be perfect if I had it frozen, you know. That'd be that'd be pretty sweet. Look at how much I tank of that. Oh my god. I'm a freaking monster. He's got it. All he did was get a tear and boots. Papa is not scared. Okay, and I'm going to continue slow pushing here. I'm going to try and block his uh, thing as well. All right, let's just get this under tower quick. What? Wow, he actually thought he would kill me there. Wow. Well, okay. I think all you guys should understand. Uh, don't fight people in their creep waves. They don't make no sense. Okay, we're going to go back because we don't know where Echo is. Now, if we saw Echo on the bottom side of the map, then I would push this. So I'm just going to go back. Mm. Wow. Diana is OP. As, as his name is, get coomed. That guy definitely got coomed on, that's for sure. Um, I might as well just hold. Never mind. I'm shoving, I'm shoving, I'm shoving. Good call. See, I was going to freeze there, but Diana wants to make some moves here, so. She's trying to cheese, it looks like. All right. Guys, I have 69 farm. <laughs> Ow. Nice. All right. I see. I see what he wanted to do. I'm on board with it. Okay. Echo is bought. Now we get a free tower here. Might as well take it. Let's let's end. Wait, oh, what the hell? Why do you wait so long to do it? What the fuck? Come on, bruh. Damn. Okay. If he did that faster, we could have walked it in, but we're not gonna be able to get any damage on this now. All right. Okay, I can easily 1v1 this Jace. He has nothing. He literally has nothing. There's not a universe this guy can kill me. So here's one. Okay, Jace is down there. Let's hard shove. Oh, God, I forgot. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm so used to doing that on the old Teemo. Where you would always... It's such a bad habit to break because I played that Teemo. I did a diamond in three hours season 10. So just try not to Q. Try not to use your Q like ever. You can use your ults to clear waves. Just don't use your uh, your Q because you will be out of mana instantly. Just have the patience. I'm going to get a demolish proc off here. And 
and then we're gonna go farm um i don't know where jace is okay there he is let me see if i can actually kill him here hmm what is he doing what i don't know what this person's doing bro late night queue is weird man Hey, well, I guess in the meantime, I might as well just do this. Try and save our mana here. Kite this over to the brush always. Remember when you are in dangerous territory? Like we're in the enemy jungle or whatever. You need to you kite to safety. Dude, you're shitting me. Okay. So you'll see me do things like this, you know. Be safe. One, two, three, one, two. It's kind of relaxing playing this champion. Like, I don't have to worry about so much micro. All I have to do is just farm. It's kind of fun. I'm not going to lie. It's like a whole different game. Their whole team's bots. Here we go. Damn it. Okay, we see Vlad. Let's get out of here. Oh. Oh, buddy. I'm definitely dead here. There's kind of nothing I can do. Oh, I could have gone invisible. Oh my God. Crap. All right. I didn't even know. I didn't know I can go invisible there. If here. Got to Basically what I need to do now is I need a group with my team. When you're this far ahead, it, like sitting here in this side lane, I'm not going to get anything done. Like I know it's nice and all, and I have a habit of doing it, but it's a waste of time. It really is. Like me wanting to get 150 CS is just stupid. It's better to just try and like go for some huge tower dives mid. When you're this fed, everyone on my team, it's it's 19 to 10. Um, and we just, I mean, we just gave him like three kills just from trolling, you know, but this is what you want to do. Save your mana. So I'm going to take it and we're all going to go mid. I'm going to show you how to use it. No, you are not going to use it on the tier one. And if you don't have to, don't use it on the tier two. You want to try and get an inhibitor with it. Again, there is literally nothing they can do. Their Jace is a potato, an actual potato. Their whole team is a giant potato. And remember, I have Demolish too. Okay. Jesus. What is that around him? I don't even know what the fuck that is. It's gonna clear mid lane. This dragon is pretty important. Oh man. What? Okay. I legitimately can't move. I got caught in the echo trap, but that was a good, that was a good juke by me or a good, um, uh, whatever it's called flank. Okay. Here's the plan. When you're this far ahead, watch, this is the plan. I just typed it out for these guys. So we reset after that dragon. And now what we're going to do is we're going to run it down. I'm going to use Rift Herald. And we're going to take the, we're going to forcefully take the inhibitor and we can, because of look at seven and three, six and two, and then I'm strong too. Zed is Zed is juicy as well. Everyone on my team is dominating. So we just have to wait for everyone. I'm gonna wait until everyone's here. A little bit of poke down. And there it is. Just like that, huh? Simple, right? You get everyone grouped. The enemy team tries fighting. You win. See? 
And I'm gonna wait for I'm gonna wait for that that wave to get here. Start getting some little shroomies. Dude, that was such a sick sidestep. Oh my god. That was impeasable. Now my team's kind of being a bunch of beta cucks right now. I'm not gonna lie. They're definitely playing like a bunch of little bitches. Like without a doubt. I don't know why they're playing like that. We're so far ahead, but they're just like pretending as if the enemy team can do anything to us, which they absolutely cannot. So on the way out, we will safely take all of the camps. Leave them a nice, nice little present. If you're wondering why I leave one, it's because I'm a nice guy. I pity the fool. She. Okay. Okay. Now, Baron. Baron is going to be a little bit harder to pull off. To be honest with you, I should have pushed that. Damn it. Oh, wait. Oh, crap. Dang it. I could have stayed. Um, I'm not going to go Zonia's. I'm going to go for a Cosmic Drive. So it's Baron because uh, they have the ability to actually kind of stop us from taking mid and not it not being super quick. You know, it's just like it's like 10 seconds to even walk the wave in, right? So why do that when you can just instantly take Baron, reset, and then run it down, you know? You got to be smart. I wonder if I could kill him. I think if I got the jump... I think if I got the jump on him, I could potentially. Let's not be greedy here. Just chill for a second. Kind of wait a second and see what's going on on the map. Um, 59 seconds. Let's shove this. We're going to go back. To be honest with you, I might not even go back. Actually, I might just just I might just hard send it right now. 48 seconds though their whole team's right there okay let's just shove this okay now i go back i should be able to little rat and now i take these guys on a little magical journey i take these guys on a little magical oh there's no universe that hit me, but look, so I took him on a little magical journey. He should have just let me be. It is what it is. Now we get free dragon. It's fine. All right. Pretty good play. Nothing like being a, a classic taunt. A classic global taunt. Huge waste of Baron, but you know, it is what it is. Guess I did not need to get caught out there, but I mean, it was a pretty good thing that their whole team came up for me because I took one out and then my team uh, did a good job but you got to be really careful with plays like that because oftentimes your team will not do shit they'll just kind of stand there and they'll blame you for like dying it's weird I'm gonna just keep splitting I, I'm, I know I keep saying don't fucking split but like my teammates are putting me in positions to perfectly split what's Okay. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Quickly shove. And that is the end of the game, ladies. You just successfully learned how to climb to diamond with this champion. It is very, it's very simple, actually. This is, uh, the champion is not strong, but it's kind of cool because... It makes you understand, hey, I'm not going to win lane phase. I'm not going to stomp lane phase. I may get a solo kill or something. But I'm definitely going to be there for my team, and I am going to be extremely, extremely useful. Especially with all that peel, you know? Very, very useful. So, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, this Diamond in 3 hours. Make sure you leave a fatty thumbs up, okay? And let me know the champion you want me to see, or you want to see me do next. Also, guys, do not forget I am doing shorts on my main youtube channel making some funny IRL content over there so make sure you guys are subscribed to the glacier main youtube channel anyway guys thanks for watching Peace.